going on guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1976 Camaro. Decoded the motor. This one's a 400 with power steering, power brakes. What I like to do in these videos is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you don't have to come up here and haggle with the cars or figure out what's wrong with them. I'll let you know before you even get here. Look at the detailed pictures that we got at maplemotors.com. I have about 100 of them. I have financing and shipping available for you. With that being said, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. Tell you what, it should be fun. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll check out the interior here. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on this channel. So we'll look around the interior. You can kind of check the dash out. It's in pretty good shape. Got some wear over there. You can see where the sun has made that bend up a little bit. Looks like the interior on this one's not too bad though. Some of the back seats, baggage tray, headliner, no, too bad. I'm getting lucky on these lights here lately. It seems like they're all in the cars. Somebody has definitely done a headliner job on this. Got the mirror. Being in shifter. Uh, a little bit of glove box paperwork here. Let's go ahead and start her up. Buzzer. She's got a good sound to her. Showing 56,000 miles. It's hard for me to stand behind that. This is not the original motor. Brake light is on. I'm thinking maybe it's this. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and try our wipers. They do work. They stop wherever I want them to, though. Look. Face of the radio is in the office. Should work. Looks like we've got a temperature gauge waiting on it to come up. Battery gauge is not hooked up. And oil pressure is around 55. With that being said, did you place your bets? We're going to be trying this horn out. Let's do it. And it works. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, getting ready to take off here. A little plastic piece came off of the top here. Let's we'll be put back in, but not right now. So what we want to do is take off down the road, point out any kind of flaws. That way you know what you're getting. I'll try not to miss anything. There we are. Okay. Feels pretty peppy, really. Check my brakes. Oh, yeah, we stopping. Let's see what we got here. Definitely gonna get gas. Looks like the gas gauge is pegged on the full. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. Seems to be pretty accurate. Straight as an arrow down the road with tight steering. Feels good. A little bit of a hesitation in that car if you hear the popping. Kick down's not hooked up on this one. Let's take her down a gear. Get her down. There we go. seems to be a little bit ethanoled up. She's still real peppy. Might have to get her going down the road some more. Maybe get her cleaned up. Get some of that stuff out of the carburetor and see if all that'll stop. I know a lot of times if you just drive them, it usually helps. feel good steering nice and straight tight turn signals popping up on the dash on the right side the left side seems like the bulb is out on the dash so the right side here is working so 
We're gonna pull up in the gas station here. Gonna check some, check some stuff over. I'll pop the hood and make sure everything's good with a little bit of the gurgle coming from the carburetor. I do think it's ethanol though, but we'll find out. Let's get about twenty dollars worth of fuel. I don't think the gas gauge works. Like I said, it's past full. If it just doesn't take any gas really, then I'll let you know. It probably will. But let's do it. All right. Just put about twenty dollars, which gets you five gallons here in Tennessee. Actually exactly five gallons <laughs> and uh that's premium fuel 93 put it in back here behind the tank and it took all five gallons so that gas gauge is not working i'll hit it anyways it was just past the full let's see if it goes way past the full maybe it will mm. nope gas gauge is broke on this one so all right, let's keep her rolling. We go we're about to roll out looks like i fixed a little seat thing there and uh i did pop the hood at the gas station and i noticed something got a decent looking fuel filter but the little filter inside it's spinning around that could very well be causing it not to get the right amount of fuel but it could also still be the ethanol in the carburetor sometimes it doesn't affect it but we have those little fuel filters at the lot and that's an easy fix so i'm gonna go back and fix it still gives a good overall example of the test drive here and what you're getting with this car so we're heading on back everything's working too the uh the uh, temp gauge and the oil pressure both came up down there so that was only about half throttle once you get past that, it starts doing that little gurgling a little bit, like it's got some ethanol backed up in the carburetor. Getting on the brakes here, I mean, they feel great. Let's drop her down. I mean, we haven't even dropped it down yet. She's burning out, look at that. Shift it into second, shift it up good. 
Shifting into third, smooth. I'll tell you what, didn't gurgle at all that time, did it? <laughs> a little scion way back there now. <laughs> Yeah, I think the uh, us running the car for the last hour has helped out quite a bit on that carburetor. And that fuel filter is not causing any issues, but I'm still not gonna change it because I mean, it's not really working to filter the fuel right now. Car sounds good too. I had a feeling it'd clear up. A lot of times on these test drives, I'm out here so long doing these videos, but by the end of them, that's all it took. Get another home stretch here. It's pretty good. All right, we'll get turned around down here at Brian's Motorsports. This is a full car customization well truck customization shop it's worth checking out if you haven't do so go to brian's motorsports tell them nick from maple motors shouted him out and sent you down here i like going around the back here this is where all the cars are he does new school old school you can go from donks to lifted jeeps to lifted trucks to all stock stuff he'll do interiors redo your seats he make custom consoles i think he just set that jeep up see i mean he didn't go crazy with it did a small lift looks like wheels and tires that looks pretty good you can go as extreme as some wheels sitting over here on this truck that truck looks sick it's pretty nice right there i like that got wheel wood brakes on it here comes brian himself look at it Let's see what he's got to say. He probably gonna think I look goofy. I'm wearing y'all on my head. You like the head cam? <laughs> I've come through a little bit every day. This is Brian, guys. This is a guy I've been talking about. Like I said, he's got a YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, Brian's Motorsports. Just look it up. You've been doing the YouTube stuff here lately, haven't you? Yeah, I've been working on building that because I want to do some uh, some live feed, like because everybody wants to see what we're doing daily. So I'm working on building the followers up and getting it that way yeah. we can go either two days a week or three days a week and go 30, 45 minute live and then let everybody see what we're doing. So like, let me show you a little surprise. Yeah. So everybody's football guys and car guys lighting up. So we have a guy that's been cooking since day one. Yeah. What'd you do with the van? Here we go. On the tire so side. We did so uh, me and all the whole crew and everybody from the Titans tailgate, our crew, we bought a van and we built a tailgate van and we're giving it to them Sunday as a gift. Oh, that's awesome. So it's, uh, it's, it's God's got, way of saying, I, I'd always tell everybody, you won't outwork me and you won't outgive me. Yeah. So he does this all the time, guys. Always giving away stuff down here. Well, if you, if you, if you love your job, right, and you work, and you enjoy it why not exactly and this is one of his shops guys look how incredible this place is tires on a stack to the ceiling new wide body lower four uh, two, two f450 so all the way from north carolina for us to build a 450 so the pmf kit train horns got the gun squad look look at that morgan wallen stepson look morgan wallen stepson <laughs> right here doing so, oh that looks awesome and guys, we are Titans fans here. I don't know if you've noticed the, the record right now, but they've so, been doing good. So the grill, grill goes on the back. You open the door. Everything oh, that's down. sweet. 50 inch TV getting installed to slide out. Grill, slide the grill out. Grill goes here. Surround sound, everything. Just all kinds of memorabilia. That's pretty sweet. We got a fresh Titans logo in the front. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet, man. You got it going on down here. Guys, I said check it out. It's Brian's Motorsports. He's always doing something special down here. And his way of giving back. Tighten up. Thanks, Brian. Up. Let's go. I had y'all on widescreen that whole time. 
I had to show it off. Car's been sitting here running. Another good example here. Let's check that temp gauge. Oh, we had a good 180. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all see that? Perfect. Let's head on back to the lot. And we will, uh, let's find reverse here. There we go. What we're gonna do as soon as we get back to the lot, I'm gonna put that walk around, picking out the flaws video right here at the end. That way you know the rest about the car. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Definitely follow Brian's Motorsports. He's working on some cool stuff for YouTube here, free for y'all to watch. We're gonna go the back way here. This is back behind uh, all the businesses right beside Maple Motors. Running on through here. So yeah, pretty much back to the lot. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in a minute. It's that time we're gonna be walking around this ride looking for chips, scratches, and flaws. So go ahead and look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping on that website, as well as merchandise. You want some Maple Motors gear, t-shirts? Go check it out. All right, let's get started. I like going around the lower portions first. That's what we're gonna do. It's usually where the problems persist, so. We've got a couple chips down here, coming around the front. Not looking too bad. You got a couple chips in the corner here too. Real, real small stuff. I don't even know if that's popping up on the camera. Got some cracks up here on top. Another one right here. Down here at the bottom, actually looks pretty good. A little spot in the paint there. Oh man, I've picked up some dirt, haven't I? Got some chips in the corner of the door there. You got some little spots popping up there. Tail light back here has got some cracks in it where the reverse light is and over on the main portion of it. paints a little bit like sand and marks back here or something I think that's what we got we got some sand and marks so they put a Chevrolet emblem there on top of the paint you can't take that off got some more sand and marks right in here pretty much this whole quarter chips there a little spot there under the paint, like orange peel down this door too. Chip here. The spots here and there. Windshield on this one looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Pillar on this one, trim, all looks good. Nice tint. The seal around the edge there has got some, it's pretty dry. That needs to be replaced. But I think I got a solution for that in the trunk. Back window, tint's coming off on the edge on the inside. But trim looks pretty good. Going right on towards the back. The reason I said you got a solution for that, so they did the trunk seal. Check her out. Looks like all new seals. Yeah, that goes to your door. But yeah, that's a good deal. Drop her out of the car real quick though. What's this? What is this? Oh, it goes in the window. All right, so we got that. Good little piece there. Back here, I'm gonna lift this up. We're gonna look up on her. 
pretty solid. Check that out. A little wet over here though. Look at that. But for the most part, this thing's pretty solid. You got some surface rust popping up there. See where that quarter's cut in. Pull it to this side. Ooh, that thing's soaked. Yeah, I need to get that out of there. Look at your package, Trey. I guess that speaker ain't gonna work, is it? Plug her in. Need some pliers. Oh. Oh. It's loose. I don't wanna mess it up. I don't have to mess with it when we get back. Good deal. So yeah, I'm just gonna shove this over here and then put this stuff back in. Just kinda wanna take that mat out. It's too wet. Better off not even have it. The seal around here. Getting wet somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's coming in. Very well could just be the back window seal gone bad. Trunk lid itself looks pretty good. Coming on down with her. Got some chips on the edges, but Keys in the ignition, good deal. Shuts good. I just got a magnet tag. A little rubber boot on the back of it. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Got some water on there. <laughs> Ship right here. There's a lot of paint on this bumper too. It's barely sticking. All right. Coming down this side. A little scratches there. Tires in great shape, American Racing Wheels. Rust at the bottom of the door here, you can see the bubbles. Chips there as well. What's this? Chips there, corner. Up and over. A little thick right here on the paint. Back to mid section. Light scratch right here. You can see it. It could be buffed out. It's just sitting on top of the paint. Right, leaning over the fender and stuff. You got a couple chips up here. Spot there. A little orange peely on the door. You can see the sand marks here in the middle. Also down the middle here. Chip there. Chip right there. Scratch there. Paint is not perfect. It's got a lot of little flaws in it. Chip there. A little overspray right in the middle on the wing. Spot there in the stripe. Bruce, not too bad. Light scratches up here in the middle. Light scratches on the window where it's been going up and down. Pitting on your door handle. Mirror looks pretty good. Pillar looks good. Under the hood, pretty clean. I noticed something. So when I was at the gas station, I popped the hood. You know that little gurgling we're getting? Very well could be the carburetor, but I'd say this right here, these cheap filters here, check this out. That thing's just swirling around in there. I need to go get a new one. Can't do it in the middle of the test drive, but when they get back, we'll throw one on there. How about that? Needs to be done anyways. You got a little rust popping up here where the paint's chipped. All right, let's go ahead and open the interior up, get another glance at it, get her started, listen to the motor. But we'll conclude this video. Squeaky door, noisy alarm. Door panel though, looks good. Your tent's all scratched up here at the top. Weather stripping down here, it's a little soft still. Got brand new in the trunk, might as well replace it. A little rust in the corner there. Looking at the bottom of your door, you got a little bit more there. And in the middle. Edges here. And your jams look pretty good. Not too bad at all. 
that's pretty hard there it needs to be replaced too seat she looks good she's not tore up that little piece i was talking about here's right here i doubt she'll stay but we'll try let's see what we got here it'd be nice but i doubt it's that easy it's not it's cracked let's stay there for now i guess yeah it is look at that who knew it all right looking around in the back We'll try to start without giving her gas. She hit. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Midget temperature is working. It did come up on the dash. Oil pressure's up still in a good range. That's what I'm talking about. Squeaky door needs some lube. Nice quiet motor. Up under the hood, you do got a little bit of surface rust popping up. The uh, clean dust painted. down with the hood we'll look at it shake her a little bit you don't want to just yank down on some of these hoods if they give you a little bit of resistance you want to shake them back and forth that keeps you from bowing the hood in half especially big long cars it happens the hood lines up well it's got a good look to it a little bit spar here in the front but see how it gets closer but it's not getting down where it's chipping up on the paint or anything like that, so. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Before you comment and say you should fix everything on all your cars, that's not what we do here. We buy and sell. I tell you everything that's wrong, we keep the price down. It's been working really, really good for us for a long time, so. That's what we're gonna keep doing. That's why I have these videos for you, showing you the flaws, pointing out the stuff. If I fixed every single little thing and it wouldn't be 13.9 I can promise you that look at the website too you can see all the cars that we get in we do keep them below national average by two thousand dollars and it shows we push about 50 cars a month through this car a lot and 20 to 30 percent now sell before I can even list them with that being said we do update every Monday with about 10 cars go ahead and turn this turn signal off See, the bulb on the dash wasn't working, but it was working out here front and rear. I do have financing for all these cars. Yeah, I can get you financed. I can ship them anywhere in the country, get you a price. It's all there at maplemotors.com, along with t-shirts. I know a lot of y'all are asking about t-shirts. We do got some more stuff coming out. Go check it out under merchandise or here. Just look below in the description. You can see everything I use with the Amazon links. Again, I want to thank you for watching. And with your help, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. I keep making these videos for you. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.